Guard number 15, Rene Kunana. Center number 12, Bo Belga. Forward number 9, Rob Sands. And at forward number 10, Gabi Espinas. The head coach for Dolphin, Janal Bakuli. Our official for this ball game. Delgado Vicente de Leon, Viray and Ahorda starting out for San Sebastian. On the other hand, it's Retaga, Cunanan, Belga, Sanz, and Espinas. Starting up for PCU, they have Cunanan and Bo Belga actually in place of Amparado and uh, Solis. Actually, Belga there with an undergoal stab. Good forward pass, Anthony. They're not really... They have not really been as dominant as they would have wanted to be as compared to the previous years when we're seeing them always in the always a lock to make the final four and almost always a lock to be in the finals that's right and we see Bo Belga putting it back in that's really what he does uh, he does the most damage with the offensive rebounds and the putbacks and he'll go to the strike he's heading to the line looking to convert a three-point play he's already got four points in the ball game in fact all the points of the Dolphins courtesy of that man there sneaking in with that layup but you can see he stands head and shoulders above everybody else, practically. Redaga bringing it down. Belga attacks, kicks it out to Sanz. Sanz inside, yes. Oh, Sanz. Sanz will have to come for the stacks. And when you look at the lineup of the stacks, you don't really have any superstars there. Aside from the horde, and he's been carrying this team. That's right, and he's clearly head and shoulders above his teammates, oh, as well as most of the players in the NCAA this year. Has had to rotate there, and you can see that you know a lot of attention is on the Horda, but he's been helping his teammates out. So you see, his penetrating the baseline for a layup. In the same situation, in order to break into the final four, he needed to just win one out of their last four. They lost all four and were eliminated from final four competition. Well, you can learn by your mistakes. So hopefully, this time around, San Sebastian would come up uh, with a continue in the first few minutes of the second quarter as well. Would you say that Coach Janelle Bakuli is now starting to feel the pressure, taking over a squad that just won the championship? That's not easy, trying to come back with back-to-back -back titles. Well, if he's felt the pressure, he's done a good job so far. Uh, you know, he's maintained that second uh, year by... It's a new player who just Jimbo checked Aquino, in. number four, yes. backing up Ian Delgado in the guard spot. Well, finally, Retaga gets into the scoring act. He grits that lead of the Dolphins to six. The future is ripe for Philippine basketball as long as we're able to develop all these players. And these are young players as well, Anthony. Jason Castro from the outside. Jason Another Castro. young player who's got three. That one. Espinas running down court. That's the pass. No look pass to Sands. Another penetrating move down the middle. San Sebastian has Well, for San Sebastian, it's a... Uh, Good to get the ball inside to their main man. For PCU, I wouldn't be too happy with that foul on Monretaga. Well, the Hoyle was not a threat, not yet, at that particular point in time. Jumper from Vicente, will miss. Espinas kicks it out. And Solis running the court and coming up with a slam. PCU is doing the right thing. 18 remaining. Take a look at this play. Solis with a breakaway and a huge in-your-face slam. Horda missing that one-hander. Retaga bringing it down. Find Sands. Sands challenges inside. Oh, Sands! And the lead. Inside, De Leon. No, he didn't get there. Quickly, well, Bo Belga was there again. That's right, while he did look open, De Leon looked open, yes. but Bo Belga timing it perfectly. And, uh, All the errors in the first half. We have to work hard because if we can't take care of the ball, sayang lang effort to team. You have to communicate, trust your teammates. We are the champions, Anthony. Enjoyed by the Dolphins. Mahorda, what about that three? Just move the Taga out of the way there. Well, Anthony, in these uh, first three minutes of the second half, we could see that Mahorda is now... Reset the offense, going to their main man, Gabby Espinas. Espinas showing us the entire repertoire. 
miscue. Here come the Dolphins. Three on two break. Santos converts. Probably why Delgado was very aggressive on that defensive play. 8.44 left to play. Cecilia gets away inside. Delgado there with another rebound. He's got 12 boards already, coach. Metaga attacking the defense of Delgado. Finds space! Two oh, I don't know. Goals. Well, two penetrating. Sands trying to get it down court. Finds the open Belga. Uh, comments the coach Janelle Bakuli that really he has no problem with the offensive end. It's really on defense where they're allowing the Stags to penetrate down the middle and get those open shots. Cecilia knocks in a three pointer. That will help their cause. He's a candidate for Milo, energy player of the game. And you mentioned it earlier the fact that Red Vicente likes to hang around the basket, he likes to attack. He likes those putbacks. Retaka with a rainbow three. DC still in the open court. Wanting the pass, doesn't get it. But a good defensive stop by PCU. You know, kailangan talaga nila. And Castro gets two points inside. Puro Valenzona pushes the panic button. That lead of the Stags. Suddenly, down to three. An explosion here by the Dolphins, capped off by this incursion inside by Castro. Pointer hoisted up and missed. Cecilia challenges. Basket counts, but again, a fire for offense. We've approached the last two minutes. We're in the twilight zone. Castro left open and drains a three-pointer. And we are tied at 75. Castro there, showing the heart of a champion in the dying minutes, hitting that three-pointer to tie it up at 75. That was a real breakdown in defense 